by nine wickets. They've regained the Ashes and Ian Chappell nominated Jeff Lawson, the Australian fast bowler, as the man of the match. The first day of the final Cornhill Test match at the Oval. Welcome to the highlights with Australia leading in the series four to nil. The two teams announced by the captains when they went out to toss today showed changes from the squads talked about earlier in the week. First of all, England left out Eddie Hemmings and Nasser Hussain, the young player from Essex. In the side, David Capel, Derek Pringle, Alan Igglesden from Kent, who was called in at the last moment to lead the attack with Gladstone Small. One spinner in the side is Nick Cook. The Australians go in with the same side as played at Trent Bridge. Tim May goes out of the final squad. Dickie Bird and Ken Palmer, uh, the men standing in this test match. Australia won the toss, a lovely batting strip, fast outfield. It looks quite parched, actually. And the pitch looks as though it will have in it quite a bit of bounce. We join play now with the fifth ball of the fourth over. It's Eagleton's second over of the match, seven for no wicket, and he is bowling to Geoffrey Marsh. And that was close to off stump. To half volley from Small. And it's four. And that's Jeff Marsh's 2,000 runs for Australia in Test cricket. Stiffish breeze. And Brinder's past the view that too many test pitches have been too well watered in the two or three weeks prior to each game, but this one hasn't. Well, that's the first ball that's really done anything off the seam for Small. All that's happened is it's cost him four runs, but it was a pretty useful delivery. Yes, a bit of bad luck there from for Gladstone Small. That just moving a little bit away from Taylor. But getting a thick outside edge, quite safe. The ball going well short of the gully and just beating. Eaglesden. Well, that's a good delivery. Well, that was bang on target. Crowd applaud. And just for once in a while, the Mark Taylor just getting in a little bit of a tangle there with that short delivery. Just once again, a strain of the leg stump there. Gives you a good idea of how quick this outfield is. And they'll take the fourth. Good quick running and uh, good judgment. They didn't slow down in the early part of uh, those four runs. They knew that uh, there's a chance it would be picked up just inside the boundary. They had a very good effort from that pair. There's uh, Eaglesden bowling to Taylor. This is Derek Pringle from the pavilion end. That's good effort. It bounced nicely for Nick Cook up into his throwing hand, the left hand. With great presence of mind, he just hurled it back at the stumps. Yes, just a touch of swing there. Hostile stuff from Gladstone Small. Yes, he's... Uh, Opening batsmen a little bit inclined to turn their back if they get in a tangle, but they get their bats out of the way. It's just a case of uh, taking the knocks, but uh, staying in. Beautiful shot, but that's the same timing that Mark Taylor's demonstrated right from the start. Short, punchy shots, and the outfield. You can just see how the sun has done its work here at the Oval. There's bare patches, burn patches. Things looking a little bit ominous for England. Once again, a very good opening partnership and runs beginning to uh, come much easier now. Oh, that's it, past the bat. And for once, Taylor playing and missing. 
Clats and Small continuing from that Vauxhall. Way. It's in the air. The scoring. Well bowled Gladstone Small, surprise ball, just dropped in short. Marsh on the hook. And Eggleston at mid-on gets into a test match in a very important way. Well, I've said earlier today how the Australians, all the opening batters and the early batsmen have got out of the way of the bouncer. Pierre Marsh tried to hook from outside the off stump, not getting inside it at all, getting a top edge, and Alan Eagleston making some good ground there and picking that up well. So, a great strike for Gladstone Small. He's been a little bit expensive, but he's certainly repaid the captain's faith in him. Intelligent bowling, really, the element of surprise was the main thing there, because the ball was on Jeff Marsh, that little bit quicker than he anticipated. Yes, and in fact, he was hooking off the front foot. David Boone is the new batsman. Oh! Ooh. Well, Cook caught it. And Gladstone Small looks as if he deserves a wicket. It certainly was a tremendous ball, quick, and fired in short. Great delivery for first. And David Boone tried to get out of the way of it. And that hit him on his right shoulder, in fact. A fine piece of reaction by Cook as it goes off his shoulder. Mark Taylor is just seven runs away from drawing level with Don Bradman's 1934 aggregate of runs in the series. Oh, what a cracking shot. <laughs> Certainly the shot of the morning so far. Just his batted for hour after hour as he's built beginnings after beginnings. And there again, you see, once a bowler starts thinking where he's got to put his feet, the automatic things suddenly have to be thought about, and that's the result. Two half volleys either side. Yes, and what it does do, really, it takes away the eight overs he's previously bought for nine runs. He suddenly bowled one bad over, and it's all thrown away. But Boone's a player who was very quick onto anything loose and playing two beautiful shots. Mike Taylor's on 46, David Boone on 18. Alan Eagleston is the bowler. And four to start with. 50 up for Mark Taylor. He's made a practice of that in this series to date. And you can't start the afternoon as a batsman any better than that. Short outside the off stump and beautifully cracked away square. That was a good shot from Boone. Wasn't all that bad a bouncer either. From uh, the pavilion end. It wasn't the turn that uh, did him there, it was the fact that he played for a little spin. Pulled it up for Australia on the first day of this Cornhill Test match. 101 to 1. Good shot for four. Once more, we see anything that's not absolutely right with those three catchers close in. There are so many gaps in the field that uh, Taylor just picks his gap and four more runs. Once again, it was the question of the batsman playing for the spin there. The ball just went straight on. Oh, 
That's a loose shot and he's gone and Eaglesden first test wicket. Well, there we are. Happy day for Eaglesden. And England now with Mark Taylor. So often the scourge through this series. Caught at the wicket by Russell off the bowling of Eaglesden. For 71. Australia now 130 for two. Well, on a couple of occasions, Taylor's played a little bit slack just outside that off stump. And that was exactly identical to one or two that he played and missed at. On that occasion, just a faint little touch. No more than that, no real deflection. And Russell making no mistakes with a straightforward catch. So a little bit of reward there for Alan Eagleson. Now, having got rid of one left-hander, there's another. Well, there's Borders' immediate answer. Slightly on the up, because it wasn't a half volley, but it's four runs. Well, you won't get many better shots than that to get off the mark with. Quite wide as well, and Border not getting the feet across to it, but uh, he certainly kept the back going through on the line. Well, I think he might have got a foot to it, Border. If he didn't, then that's the chance. But yes, he's certainly got a boot on that. I would say the ball never actually going through to Jack Russell. Well, that's the end of Eaglesden. Gladstone Small to replace him. Risky shot, and Gladstone Small just getting the ball to run away from David Boone. Well, when he played this shot, it looked as though he'd got a big nick on it. In fact, uh, that ball swung after it had gone past Boone. And a little bit lucky to get away with that. Which end will they throw? Oh, it missed. There's such a rush for Nick Cook at mid-wicket. Well, there hasn't been much uh, messing about with the running here, but there's certainly a chance there. Alan Border would have been out by two yards if Cook had hit the wicket. bat and a flashing catch wide half volley well it wasn't really a half volley David Boone flat footed swinging the bat and getting a thick outside edge and Atherton picking up that sharp catch at third slip incoming batsman Dean Jones Well, that's a handsome way to get off the mark for Dean Jones. You hit it a bit into the ground, but then you get some topspin, I think, Tom, don't you? Yes, like a little bit of hook on the golf shot. And they are going to rest Gladstone Small. Because 18 overs, two maidens, two for 69. David Capel it'll be. Choice was uh, Eagleston. Pringle or Capel. Long chase. It's not much is going to be pulled up before that boundary rope in this match. Just before the tea interval, leg spin. In the match at Trent Bridge, when Mike Atherton came on, he confused the batsman three times with uh, the Bosey. It didn't pick it. Well, the man at deep square, Capel, lost it. I suspect never saw it from the moment he left the bat. 
Well, that really was a gift horse, as they say. Halfway down the pitch, outside the leg stump, and just bouncing the nice height. Sixtieth over of the innings. Oh, what a terrific shot from Border. Stevenson just too late in the covers to get down, but it was hit with immense power. Well, if you wanted to hit an off drive and you're a left-hander, that's how to do it. Look at that beautiful position Alan Border's got in. Dean Jones, very strong onside and uh, really Capel has to think about his either his line or his field placings. Got six on the offside, three on the on, and this man Jones is extremely strong through that mid-on area. Derek Pringle coming back. That was a useful delivery because that one seemed away, took the edge. No reward. <laughs> 200 up for Australia. <laughs> Didn't carry. David Cable getting a little bit of extra bounce here. It surprised Alan Border. Just dropping short of Graham Gooch, who did well to pick it up. And the bouncer, so clearly the discussion between Gooch Gower and David Cable has been for. The Northamptonshire all-rounder to start banging them in a bit short. Not getting any movement at all from pitching them up. David Gower has been standing at first slip all day. It's a, quite a change. Uh, perfectly understandable that a captain should want to stand in line with uh, whatever's happening out there. But perhaps again you have to wonder why he hasn't been there during the rest of the series. Because he's a good catcher at slip. And that's where the Australians have been so effective right through the series. That was a strong shot and so easy. Just leaned on it and up goes the back, off goes the helmet because Dean Jones has 50. Yes, this could be the 2000th run for Dean Jones. Yes, it is. Well played, Dean Jones. 2000 runs in Test cricket. Of course, a statistic not known by the crowd here, so no great eruption of applause. Uh, Nick Cook comes on to bowl. He's going to bowl over the wicket to a left handed border. No doubt he'll go around to Dean Jones. And it's bowled on the onside, there are only three fielders. Gladstone Small is having to sprint down the mid-wicket boundary. But all in vain. Thank you very much, Mr. Alan Border. There's Border's 50. He's worked hard for it. Eight fours. Four more. And fielding really has to be razor sharp under these conditions. The outfield's like lightning. 
beautifully applied. Takes Jones to 80. Well, that had him in trouble. That was a good piece of bowling from Small. Wasn't a bouncer. He has that ability to get that ball up. And that took Jones by surprise. Oh, well feel it. That had four written all over it. But beautifully picked up out of cover there. Look at that little whack. Hundred and fifty stand up between uh, Border and Jones. Alan Eagleston comes in from the Vauxhall end. And the 300 up now for the loss of three wickets. 92 Jones, 64 border, end of the over from Eagleston. Cook to border. That's very good cricket from Dean Jones. And there's only one reason he did it, that he had the common sense to have his bat in his right hand. So many carry it in the left, then have to switch it. He has the bat in the hand nearest to the bowler. The infield need to watch the single here. Jones is on 99. No need to worry. Gladson Small did very well. They still run four. And that is, I reckon, one of Dean Jones' best innings. Nick Cook now from the Vauxhall end. Oh, good shot. He's played no better stroke than that today, I tell you. Now, this was probably the stroke of the day. Just short of a length, ran into him, played with a straight bat through mid-wicket. And certainly no better way to finish the highlights of the first day than with a stroke like that from Dean Jones, who remained 140 in not out. There were two more runs added to take it up to 325 for three. His skipper is with him on 66. Another good innings from Mark Taylor, David Boone played all right, but the top three wickets looked as though they might have suffered a little by the state of the series. Small took two wickets and I thought Gladstone Small bowled uh, the best I've seen him for quite some time. I saw him bowl out Australia one day in Melbourne and today was an excellent effort from him. A wicket to Alan Eagleston on his debut and everyone stuck at it out there and the feeling was uniformly good throughout the day. Graham Gooch came in at the end and bowled a couple of overs from the pavilion end. Well, conditions were...